Hey. Hey, this is Auntie Fee. I buy the facts. We jazzing and whining tonight. There's some things that done popped off. Blackwood News was at a couple of live active scenes. Something popped off for shooting at the farm. I said, ooh, baby, I need some wine. We need to chill out. Sip a little something, something. You know what I mean? Is that all right? Have changed the atmosphere, the ambiance. Yeah. But I ain't gonna stay here long because we need to jump on in. It's late. Have a little late, little jazz, little sippy, sippy. <laughs> Shout out to my subscribers who wanted to have a little wine tonight. Is that all right? Is that all right? We being a little grown and sexy. This is, I told y'all this is ginger. This is ginger tonight. Ginger and spice. She makes everything nice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Auntie Fee. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Before it disappears. And we don't want it to disappear. It's Auntie Fee. Uh -huh. The fact, uh uh, uh, TV about the fact, uh, TV about the facts, yeah, uh, TV about the facts. It says downtown Memphis on Bill in the middle of the Grizzly game. It's crazy. Check on your folks. Shout out to Blackwood News. Double shoot. Double right shoot. Right here on Bill and Ida B. Wells. Right here by Fetty's Farm, man. Huge crime scene, man. Damn, bro. Check on your people. They in the hospital right now. I don't know if it's kids or not. Oh wow. And there's like two victims. Two or three. Hey, we witnesses saying two and three, so multiple victims, I know that. Multiple people shot right here. Outside of FedEx Farm, bruh. This is crazy. It's a damn grizzly game going on right now, this second. They gonna come out the game into a crime scene if they don't hurry up. MPD, y'all please wrap this up. This is a bad look. Show sure is. But the city is That's looking bad, thing, period. So. No, I'm not sure what it was about, but it could be about anything. And I'll tell it with these guys, man. It could be about anything. What's going on, bro? You already know it, man. It's crazy. Oh, they got kids down it, there? He's oh, cool wow. He's he trying to get his baby girl home, bro. Damn. Oh, they need to get that baby out of there. Nope. They're not letting nobody through. This is an active crime scene. Can't nobody get through. 
get through, police gonna get on your, I'm finna, I'm finna cuss, but yeah, police gonna get you, this is sad, man, oh yeah, for sure, y'all, real time news, only on Black with News, they got some news out there, though, but it's still going on, it just started not too long ago, it's usually over around like 9.30, so if this crime scene, come on, man, y'all got to get this wrapped up by 9.30. It's never wrapped up like that quick, he know that. It's bad look. He know that. She had clear, asked for them to clean up the city. Man, we got fans in there. They don't know what's going on on the outside. Oh, yeah, shit. Unless they watching me. Come on, man. Every day. Uh, so don't yes, just talk about it because it's the down IG there. Right they don't know what the hell's going on. Yes, the shooter is in custody. They got him. It was multiple. Yes, they got him, y'all. Let's hope not. Uh, look, let's hope not, guys, because I hope it's wrapped up by then. What time is it? They let it off. Y'all be safe, man. Uh-huh. Y'all can't go there. Tommy. Oh, he's gonna get y'all, yeah. Right there. Y'all can, can turn right there. Yep. This is sad, man. We got kids just trying to get home. There's nowhere to go. This is sad, bro. We in downtown Memphis. Right outside the farm. Where's the grizzly game on? And it's a goddamn crime scene, man. Ooh. The mayor can do nothing with this problem. The the um uh, the police chief can't fix this. It's a Memphis thing. It's it's how these guys think, man. That that folks can't y'all got to stop that, man. What the mayor gonna do? The mayor can't do nothing with this, man. These aren't gangs doing this neither. This stuff happens so quick, y'all. We finna get up out of here though, IG. Y'all check on your phone. Yeah, Only on Black One News. Yeah, I know, but I can't. I, can't. I didn't catch the beginning. Man, this is crazy, bro. IG, what it do, and we live. We're live in downtown Memphis again. Well, they just let it off on Bill and Ida B. Wells, man. They let it off again. This is crazy, bro. It's early in the middle of a grizzly game. They got a grizzly game going on right now, y'all. Another shooting deadly crash, he said. Deadly crash on Hickory Hill and Night Honor. Check on your phone. Oh, IG, what it do? And we live. We right here on Night Honor in Hickory Hill for this deadly accident, man. It's the body right here. Y'all slow these cars down, Memphis. God damn, another deadly accident involving these cars. They're saying it's a charger right here. Yep, everybody... Y'all just roll past? Oh, yeah. Man, y'all check on your people, y'all. Yes, it's the body out here. And it's a, it's a lady. Oh, wow. That's one charger. They said it on Facebook. And it's another car right here. And it's a body right there. Man, y'all check on your people. Yep, it's a deadly accident, y'all. If you're in the area, avoid this area right here. On Hickory Hill and Night Arnold. If it's not the shoes, it's the goddamn car accidents, man. Yeah, it, it if it's not an accident, Damn. it's a. Uh, it's nowhere to go. Pedestrian. Getting Everybody ran got a bus of you. They got to turn around, man. From downtown to Hickory Hill. Let's go, man. It don't stop. Only on Black with News. Shout out to Black Windows. This is crazy, bro. 
This is crazy. Uh oh. What in the world? Oh yeah, for sure, y'all. They hit me up. I'm putting up. I just left downtown. Y'all know that. They said it wasn't no nobody shot, but man, um, I don't know about that, man. Yeah. I got videos of people in the ambulance and everything, so I'm not sure about that. I heard what they said, but I got folks who saying it was folks shot. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. They lie. They can tell y'all anything, but shoot. Absolutely. I'm not that big, so y'all gonna believe whatever they say anyway. Shoot. But, man. They'll come back later. <clears throat> Ooh, Only excuse on Black me. Renew. I'm they sorry. They stay downtown. They talking about that. Come on, man. It's active in the city. We ain't got time to just it's post up on no one certain scene. Y'all hit me up. I'm putting down. They still downtown, y'all. Only on Black Renew. The fuck can't hang with me, bro. Oh, wow. Body out here. A Leslie. It was a female, and she was pregnant. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Man, fuck. Oh, my God, bro. It doesn't stop. If it's not the shoes, it's the car accidents. Only on Black Renew. It's rest in peace to those victims, man. It was females. Another oh, accident. Yeah. Females. Shit, man. I heard about it. I forgot her name. Yeah, man. That's messed up. These cars are so fast, man. People lose. <laughs> People lose control. Hey, but I ain't laughing at that. The man said, not the road blades. Damn right. I got wheels downtown, y'all, so I'm not driving downtown nowhere. They breaking in cars and shit, too? Nah. I'm hitting the road of blades. I'm, man, come on, man. This was him on IG, uh, the other social media site about the Bill Street. Town man, they just got the shooting again on Bill and Ida B. Wells. It's a goddamn grizzly game, man. Oh man, it don't stop, man. Early in the set, early in the weekend, man. Time. It ain't supposed to be time. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. They called me. Going on. We got everybody out here right now. Man. Well, they just got the sh shooting again. Right here. Right by Bill, man. In FedEx form. This is ridiculous, bro. This is ridiculous, bro. Well, they just got the shooting on the end of Bill. Is that up, Danny Thomas? No. I'm finna go back around there. Danny Thomas is almost up there, but no. Look, we got parts of Bill. They jamming. I'm finna hit on the others. Oh, shit. The music, the music. I do not own the copyrights. I do not own the copyrights. This shit, man, it's so sad, man. They caught him, though. Them folks, man, these folks crazy, bro. In the middle of a grizzly game. They don't care. They playing the Detroit Pistons right now. Mm. Mm -hmm. man. Staying on top of that breaking news right now. Shots fired on Beale Street right outside the FedEx Forum. This happened before the Grizzlies game tipped off tonight at 7. Fox 15's Rosalind Freeman joins us live from the scene tonight. Rosalind, can you tell us what is the latest? 
Darcy and Darrell, we just got an update from the Memphis Police Department. This was an officer involved a shooting. I oh, want wow. you all to take a look. There are still officers still present blocking the entryway on Bill Street. This happened around or after 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, officers responded to the area of Ida B. Wells regarding shots fired. Officers made the scene located and three male suspects were involved in the incident. Officer quickly took them into custody. During the incident, a Memphis police officer working traffic details nearby fired his service weapon. No one was struck by the gunfire during the incident. Now this is an ongoing investigation, but like any Friday here in Memphis, you can imagine a grizzly game is Woo! happening. People are still out and about. It's a pretty busy night and they're greeted by this crime scene. Again, at this time, no injuries have been reported. And if you're looking to come downtown tonight, you may want to take another route because the Bill Street in Ida B. Wells, it is still blocked off. That is Fox 13's Rosalind Freeman reporting live tonight. Thank you, Rosalind. Can y'all hit the like button, please? Hit the like button, please. Hit the like button for Auntie P. Staying on top of that breaking news right now. Shot. So 57 minutes ago, they said three men were in custody. I think, but they said it was two shots fired during two incidents. Out at the top of this newscast, a shooting uh, right near FedEx Forum, right near Beale Street tonight, and three people now in custody. Our Zaria Oates is live at the scene downtown with the details. Zaria. Hey, Richard Pepper. We're here just outside of the FedEx Forum. At about 7 o'clock, the Memphis Police Department says that officers came here right outside the FedEx Forum to a call of shots fired. They've since detained three people, but as you can see, the scene has died down just a little bit, but a lot has happened since then. As you can see, there is still some caution tape that's up here, and there is a Memphis Police Cruiser just behind it, but Beale Street is still very active, and people are still going down that street. During the incident, somehow a Another Memphis police officer who was working traffic detail, MPD says, shot their gun. And that was not related to this incident where three people were detained. But that's how this became an officer-involved shooting. They said that no one was struck by the gunfire during that well, incident. Why was he and shooting? another person who was near this area was somehow injured by falling. But they say that the gunfire that rang out did not actually injure anybody. No one was shot. And those three people who were involved in that initial shooting call have been detained as we learn more information as area was somehow injured by falling but they say that the gunfire that rang out did not actually injure anybody no one was shot and those three people who were involved in that initial shooting call have been detained as we learn more information as to why an MPD officer shot their gun at this scene in an, in, in an unrelated incident we'll bring you that detail as we have it live downtown I'm Zaria Oates So in South Memphis, there's the guy that got arrested with DUI with eight kids in the car, drunk. That's a damn skunk. His car while driving under the influence oh, in South crashed. Memphis. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. What makes matters worse, officers say he had eight children in the car. WRG's Brian Didlake has been talking with neighbors. And Brian, what have you learned about this? Uh, well, Stephanie and Greg, neighbors that I've been speaking to say that they saw the suspect, Edmund Applewhite, uh, quote, drive at a high rate of speed in this area. As a matter of fact, following me uh, down this road, it was near the corner of Norris and Ball Road where Applewhite crashed, according to Memphis police. I want to pull up his picture really quick. He's still in custody at this hour. 35-year-old Edmund Applewhite is facing several charges, including eight counts of child endangerment, driving while his license was suspended or revoked and under the influence. Now, according to arrest records, when police responded to the crash this past Wednesday, officers said they Are smelled a strong odor on Applewhite's breath. That's when officers say they called their whiskey unit to conduct a field sobriety test. Applewhite failed that test. There were no injuries, but officers say Applewhite had eight children in the car, the oldest 17 years old and the youngest just 10 months. 
One neighbor oh, says wow. he saw the moments before Applewhite crashed. Uh, I was down here in my yard, and I could hear a car just uh, with a, a high rate of speed, and I saw him, he was doing circles right up there on Norris. He did about two or three times, and then he pulled off. And now Applewhite is still being held at this hour on a $5,000 bond. He is set to face a judge this next Monday. But for now, we are live in South Memphis. Brian Ditlake, W. Can y'all hit the like button, please? for today after months of court hearings former criminal court judge melissa boy pleads guilty she resigned from her position earlier this week and now has been ordered to get treatment thanks for joining us everyone i'm alex yeah hit the like button I'm april thompson it is part of a plea deal that played out in court today Our case we hit the like button yet hit the like button please Hit the like button on TV. Come on, come on, come on. It's almost midnight. Passionate words from Michelle who see, she is accused right, of harassment. But this dyke here, this stud. I want to apologize uh, for my relapse. Uh, I just want to tell you that I don't want to be here anymore. I an apology from former Shelby County Judge Melissa Boyd as she pleads guilty to harassment. I thought I'm going to my nose up at the court. I never have. I never will. Boyd is accused of harassing her former campaign manager, and for the first time, we hear from her. Do not miss the court and contact me. No more text messages. No more sending me voice messages with her having sex with other women. Do not contact me. Oh, wow. The freaky ass, drunk ass judge. <laughs> her sending messages with her having sex with other women. So she was having sex with you too? At some point. So. So she a, a cokehead, drunk, same sex freak. So you trying to piss her off by sending her messages of you <laughs> dear do dicking some other female. <laughs> Oh Lord, is this 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 mess here? Oh, Lord, you talk about a whole curveball, y'all. What in the sip the wine, sip the wine, sip the and wine? <laughs> Court can contact me. No more text messages. No more sending me voice messages with her having sex with other women. Do not contact me. That's it for you, great. Thank you. Passionate words from LaShanta Rudd. Another part of Boyd's plea deal is that there is no contact between the two. I've been in therapy myself from all of this. Um, she called from jail multiple times. She even asked me yesterday if I would marry her, and I told her no. She needs to focus on healing and being whole. A judge says Boyd is now off to a 28-day inpatient program in Jackson, Tennessee. Last week, prosecutors said in March, Boyd tested positive for oh, alcohol and cocaine. Oh, he don't got his hair done, y'all. What in the world is going on with Owen's hair? What? He got kissy curls? What in the world? Do he have on a lace front wig? What in the world? Horn. Now, I just found out that you are a sniffer. With 
Are you high? What in the world is going on? Oh, Lord. Uh, what is going on with your hair? Yeah, he look high. Yeah, I hit the like button. <sighs> have you went? To, have you visited the Mims? She a part of the family, ain't she? Lord, Lord. This boy is now off to a 28-day in inpatient water, program in Jackson, Tennessee. Last week, prosecutors said in March, Boyd tested positive for alcohol and cocaine and missed several screenings. She's sick and she needs help. So hopefully she will um, accept the help that has been extended to her. After treatment, Boyd will head to Shelby County Veterans Court, a full treatment program that gives vets a second chance and requires 90 straight days of sobriety. This is not the end of the story for her. God still has a plan for her life, and she just need to, she has a lot of issues that she needs to resolve. Her story continues, and April Alex, during one court, uh, one moment in court, a boy did ask if she could be released today and turn herself in tomorrow for treatment. The judge did say no, so as of today, she is off to Jackson, Tennessee for treatment. Live in downtown Memphis, Shay Simon.